95% of the people in the business world want to write a book, but only a very, very small percentage will actually do it because it feels like it's a daunting task. The whole book writing, it's, I find that a lot of us are kind of in that position where we do feel it's kind of out of reach for us. Yeah, you know, there are percentages that I don't have on hand here, but it's something like 95% of the people um, in the business world want to write a book, but only a very, very small percentage, three to 5%, I believe is the number, will actually do it because it feels like it's a daunting task. Or they sit down and they write, but they don't have a path. They don't have a plan. They just start writing like, like I did initially, and, and I was all over the place. To say, how do you do it? I think the first thing is to set the intention that you will do it, not that you're going to think about it, that you will do it, that you'll research, you'll get a coach like me, you'll come into a, a, a program where you'll have the support and accountability to be able to do it to do that and follow a, a tried and true plan to be able to do it. We as people in the business world, whether we're entrepreneurs or working in a corporate environment, we're looking for visibility. And there's nothing like a book that gives you visibility. So I'm biased. If you haven't already gotten that, I am totally biased, but I believe that it is worth the time, the effort, the energy to stay focused, to get the clarity of what's the end, what's the end result that you want this book to do for you? You know, do you want to build an existing business and, and elevate your position within that, that, that business? Do you, are you on a path like a mission that there's something that you see you'd like to change in the world and you want to get that information out into the world, but you have to think about why am I doing this? You have to identify the problem that you're solving know what the solution is that you're offering, and then know why are you the one to write that book? What's unique about you? What's the new perspective that you have that really makes you a thought leader? And sometimes that's the hard part is we, we don't always know why us. We kind of push ourselves away from maybe it should be somebody else, but there's a way to discover why us in that, in that writing mode, right? Oh, there absolutely is. And you just brought up something that I think is really critical, Stephanie, in that all writers, whether they're professional writers or they're business people who are exercising that muscle to be able to get their information out, everybody faces imposter syndrome. Everybody faces limiting beliefs because while the people that I have worked with for almost 20 years now they are really excited initially, and then they hit this wall because those limiting beliefs come up. And then why am I the person? And truly it's going through that, which you know is really the message of the land of I can, is that as they go through these limiting beliefs, there's a transformation that happens so that not only at the end of the journey have they written a book, they have really transformed as an individual because you have to be really clear about that stake in the ground and then be willing to put yourself, your unique perspectives, your unique stories into that stake in the ground and then be willing to say, you know, offer it up to the world. That takes courage. Mm -hmm.